right, good evening. Welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be a private reading, I think, because I'm gonna double check. All right, Holy Spirit, can you give me some guidance on who this is for? Yep. This is going to be a private reading for Gemini. All right, can I get a prayer, please, for this individual spirit? Uh oh, the prayer fell on the floor. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I dropped okay. it. I dropped it. I'm going to pick it up that? just like it is. If I can find it, where the heck? <laughs> I found it. Okay. <clears throat> oh God of heaven and earth, it is good to sing your praises and to bless your holy name always. You do great things for us. The whole earth is full of your glory. To you be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus for endless ages. Amen. So you're praising God for some reason. <laughs> I can see that, right? <laughs> Let's see what the book says. <laughs> But hopefully it will say all you need to do is show up. <laughs> all right, Spirit, what will the book say for this individual? Spread love. We had this earlier. Spreading love and making people feel good creates magical energy that is filled with good vibes. When we share love and kindness, it creates a ripple effect that spreads good vibes around the world. Your challenge is to think of someone who you have gratitude for and write a note telling them how grateful you are that they are in your life. You can choose to email, text, or even do it the old-fashioned way and post them a card or letter. So you're being encouraged to spread love by telling someone you're grateful for how grateful you are for them. All right, now... Let's see what virtues are working. Well, thank you guys for a very nice day. <laughs> Yay, amen. The virtues that are working right now are love and respect. With service. Oh, perfect. Spirit and generosity. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Use the black deck I'm hearing to get over the altar road. All right. What's working in this person's life right now, Spirit? Besides respect, love, service, and generosity. What's working? The hangman in reverse. So somehow where you've been stuck, you're going to be unstuck. All right, what's the overcoming energy, spirit? The energy to overcome. Temperance tried to come out. Well, there we go. The Hierophant. So there's something official that you have to overcome. It kind of came out sideways, so you may have already partially overcome this Hierophant. This could be a place for sure. All right, and how do we pull this together? The Temperance card came out, so you're probably dealing with a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio, a Taurus, and a Sagittarius with the Devil in Reverse on the bottom of the deck. So some obsession you have will be um tamed you're gonna have a tamed obsession <laughs> is what you don't see coming all right spirit how do you want to proceed from here let's go with let's go with the spell casters i don't know i think it's kind of fun just to um to use these cards <laughs> Let's go with this family deck and see what comes out here. Gross bathrooms and dirty floors suck, and that mouth of yours could start some shit. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> All right, you decide where to eat, and that mouth of yours could start some shit. <laughs> so. All right, how did this happen, Spirit? 
do you really love them? So you're having to ask yourself, do you really love this person? All right, what's being hidden? Bear your fucking soul. Trust, share your crazy ass dreams, wishes, and passions. Okay? What's being shown? Wow. Go solo that people are messy. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say <laughs> you probably don't love them because you're going solo. Alone time equals happier together. Or maybe you do. And then people are messy. Love them anyway. Maybe this person's messy. <laughs> <coughs> but secretly you want to bear your soul. Or maybe secretly you are bearing your soul. Alright. What's going to happen next, Spirit? Listen and check yourself. Listen, you're going to listen and you're going to check yourself. Listen means you still don't fucking get it. And check yourself means you're playing with fire. So you need to listen and check yourself. You're playing with fire. With get hot and sweaty again. So you're the one who likes to get hot and sweaty, work out and grow all this fuck together, huh? Alrighty then. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's pull some tarot on this. Let's not even play around. Let's just pull tarot. Should we use this deck, Spirit? Spirit said you use this deck. This deck? The other deck. This deck. Alright, why is the hangman here? Because of the hierophant. So, you're stuck because of this Hierophant, this official place or whatever this Hierophant is. It could be work. It could be a relationship. It's something higher level. Alright, why is the Hierophant here? Because of the High Priestess. It's time, the Two of Swords in reverse and the Moon in reverse. So, intuitively, you know it's time for something. And you're not in denial about your feelings. Clarify their feelings. Ooh. The Ace of Cups came out in reverse with the Seven of Pentacles. So this is somebody you're reevaluating having a relationship with. Alrighty then. Why is temperance here? Because of children. You're, you're controlling yourself when it comes to showing this love because of some children. Alright, well, why is the devil in reverse? Wow. Because somebody's frozen the Seven of Swords and the Two of Cups. So, somebody's having a hard time letting go of some deception when it comes to this relationship <clears throat> and I think it has to do with these children clarify the seven of swords the two of pentacles in reverse You're, what are they weighing options clarify what they're juggling or whatever you're undecided about this relationship you're undecided if this can work the dark night of the soul and divinely guided are in reverse with the page of wands. So, it's like you're excited and you feel like you're divinely guided through this because it's been a dark time or you're going through a dark time, but you're not sure if it's going to work. But let's see what Spirit says. Is it going to work, Spirit? The King of Swords is here. You are here with awakening. So you're waking up to something. What are they waking up to? Huh. You are definitely here. This is Gemini. You're waking up to the fact that you've been bored, discontent, refusing an offer, and you're feeling apathetic. <laughs> 
All right, what are they planning on doing about this? Wow, there's a karmic partner here. Some dark side being exposed. Clarify the karmic partner. Spirit says you're going to clean this up. That's what's happening here. You're fixing to clean up some karmic, karmic partners or a karmic partner. Codependency, your dark side is being exposed to clean up because you haven't learned these lessons. All right, advice, spirit. Cards are going all over the floor. Uh, <clears throat> guess what went on the floor though ten pentacles which is basically having it all and then we have the six of swords we have the nine of cups upright we have the four of pentacles in reverse the king of wands upright judgment in reverse and the seven of wands in reverse so in order to have it all <clears throat> You gotta move on. It's time to move on past whatever's bothering you about these children. And then you can have your dreams come true, okay? And you feel you're you're feeling very insecure and controlling right now. Remember I said something about That wasn't your reading. I'm sorry. For some reason, you're feeling like you're unstable. And then there's the King of Wands here. You're going to have to take charge. And don't be judging this. There's some, for some reason, you are you don't need to judge and you don't need to fight this, is what this is saying. What should they do, Spirit? Oh, shit, the T's keep, okay, so right now you're having no choice but to be stuck, but there's some T, Spirit, so there's T, so let's see what the T is. All right, Spirit, what's the T for this person where they're stuck? Somebody's been blocked, and there's something fake. Blocked and faked, all right, explain yourself, Spirit, and they're confined. Somebody's been blocked and they're going to fake. They're going to be fake. They're going to be pretending. Blocked, fake, and confined. All right, any more teas here, Spirit? Somebody's the perfect pair. Somebody wants revenge. There's some secrets that are hidden and there's some uh, unrequited love. So, there's a there's somebody who thinks there's the, that they're a perfect pair, but they want revenge or payback. And there's some hidden secrets and some love that's not being returned. That could be what this Four of Cups is about. Somebody's withholding love, like seriously withholding love. Could have been because of somebody cheating. Alright, why are they, why are they wanting revenge? Wow. Because of being ignored. Remember I said somebody was being blocked or ghosted and they're acting fake and somebody's confined? Well, somebody's been ignoring somebody. And then it says they need to apologize because this is a long-term partnership. So, if you ever ignored this person in the past, you should probably apologize for it. <laughs> Maybe in the past you didn't return this person's love, but now you're believing for something. What are they believing for? Oh, shit. They're believing that they're going to get communication that's going to come in about some options and that somebody's going to be digmatized. <laughs> But Spirit says somebody's alone, they're bound, and there's a surprise coming. The answer's going to be yes to you, player, and you're locked down. <laughs> oh, God, Spirit, help us. All right, what would you say out of this deck right here just for kicks? <clears throat> you need to have acceptance. Something was strictly sexual in a past life love. All right. 
what else? <clears throat> Somebody's longing, I bet they are. There's a warning here. And regret. Clarify the warning with the regret. There's some interference and unavailable showing up. Alright, can you give me more here? Somebody wants to play hard and they want you to trust them and give them a second chance. And it looks like they're a soulmate. Interesting. So there's a soulmate here that wants a second chance. And Spirit's saying you need to be warned that you're going to regret this interference and it's unavailable. Alright, what might be the outcome, Spirit? Somebody's going to make a decision to release... Release what? Rejection and marriage. And it was a spiritual lesson. They're gonna be they're gonna release a marriage. They're gonna reject somebody because they learned the lesson. Yeah, they learned the lesson not once but twice. There's chemistry here and they're gonna retreat. Okay then. Alright, so talk to me spirit out of this deck right here and show me what's gonna happen with this person tomorrow. The media came out, so maybe you're going to see this video. What else? You're going to be in leadership and say yes to the things you think you can't do. Alright, what else? Spirit! Wow. Somebody is planning on something with their help. Wait, what's this card right here? Friendship came out. So maybe this is a friend of yours. Um, you're planning on something with your help. Help being stable planning health and stability all right so maybe um <clears throat> whatever's happening here is for your health all right what's going to be the outcome of tomorrow your mistakes are here and work smart clarify mistakes somebody needs to be motivated and be persistent all right what else Justice is here. Clarify justice. The outlook is denial. Hmm. Alright, clarify denial. You gotta make some goals. And you're manifesting growing up. Clarify what you mean. You're gonna be you're learning to be independent, okay? What else? I have real estate, there's something better, and beware. So wherever you're planning on moving, there's something better and you need to beware. Alright, anything else, Spirit? This is unreliable. The, you need to boss up and get grounded. Alright, any other messages about money? Manage your money. Something unethical is here. Your spirituality is here. You're going to have growth. And you're going to promote something. Clarify what's going to be promoted. It's unclear. You need to use your voice. Be a rebel. Embrace the wisdom of the unknown. And you're going to have options because of your beauty. Alright. Clarify what happens with these options. The office and the people you spend the most time with are going to shape who you are. Alright. Clarify outcome. Arguments and student. Clarify arguments. You're going to have to take action to get this windfall. Yes, windfall. Okay, boss. Okay, boss. With the artist on the bottom of the deck. Alright, windfall. Take action. I hope you got all that because I can't remember. All right, what would you say out of this deck right here, Spirit? What would you say out of this deck? There's going to be a reconciliation, a new beginning with family and somebody that's beautiful. You might be having dreams and your well-being is here. Anything else? I have blessings and the universe here with courage, 
talent and answers. Clarify answers, please. It has to do with animals. <laughs> That's strange. Your prosperity is here. You're going to have good luck, financial health, and you're going to be finding, I think it's supposed to be, you're manifesting and finding financial health, good luck, and prosperity. And then on the bottom of the deck is your willpower. Okay. Um, what else do I want to do for you? What else do I want to do, Spirit? what would come out of these. Can I get guidance, please? Thank you so very much. Am I apologizing for my truth? What part of you is apologizing for your truth and why? Today, be proud of your truth. Catch yourself when you want to apologize or withhold parts of it. You never know whose life you will change when you're brave enough to speak it. Be the lighthouse that shines on the courage that lives in all of us. This will give you and others permission to speak their own truth. There is room for us all. Today's mantra, courage is contagious. And am I on the right path? Because remember you were moving in the wrong direction. Like I think physically moving to the wrong real estate. Sometimes we second guess what we're doing. We lose trust in the process and question if we're even on the right path at all. You are on the right path. Keep going. Keep believing. Keep remembering that you made a soul contract that you're currently fulfilling in every area of your life. Even if you can't see it, that doesn't mean it's not real. Today's soul action. Today, search for all the ways you are aligned with your soul's purpose. The signs will appear. Let this newfound trust fuel your next steps. And I did want to see what would come out of these for you. I'm just curious. What would you say out of this deck of cards right here, Spirit? Whoa. That's a lot of cards. I'm putting them back and I'm going to reshuffle them. What would you say out of here? <laughs> that one's determined to come out. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Alright, what else? Dang, half the deck. What else? Anything else, Spirit? Thank you so very much. Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, you have helpers in the subtle realms. The ever unfolding rose, you're being cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. And creating heaven on earth, it's happening with what is your soul calling you to do? And this says you've been called for a double mission, for channeling and uplifting humanity. With... Retreat, rest, and be held. Have deep replenishment on the bottom of the deck. And I did want to find out secretly, secretly, spirit, what would this soulmate say to this person? I have too much to lose and I need security. So they want you to stick around for the money and the security. All right. What would this person say to them? I don't, I don't want to know <laughs> so you don't want to know <laughs> you would tell them you don't want to know and i'm not financially stable so they want you to be their security and you're saying i don't want to know that because i'm not financially stable all uh, right what would you say to this new person that you have this ace of cups for you have a lot to say to them i miss seeing you i can't reach out do i still have a chance and i do love you with I watch your social media. <laughs> that is too funny, and I miss hearing your voice. Oh, I don't know what to say. And then it says, I don't, I don't, how, why, why do I keep saying that? I know you don't feel the same. So, I don't know what to say about that. <clears throat> All right, angels, how are you helping this individual? Adoration, you watching that social media. Vibration, you probably feel this person's vibration. You have prayer here and you have fire. So that's a lot of powerful prayer. And you have protection, baby. There you go. That's all you need right there. You have people, places, and things being strategically placed for your highest and greatest good. You have music. 
and you have prosperity. You're going to be fine, sugar. Any healing that needs to take place here. Unleash your creativity and stop selling out. So you have some kind of, oh, self-love was turned over. You have some kind of creative and then your family and tribe needs healing also. I'm here to go one more time. There, um, be careful of self-sabotage when it comes to this soulmate. Have faith. You have help from above and somebody's beautiful with victim consciousness and love under that. All right, I think I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to pull you some trinkets. And I'm going to pull a special trinket for my friend who's staying here and who wants to wake up. Holy Spirit, would you please help me to pull a trinket for my friend who's staying here? What trinket do you want me to put on a bracelet for her? All right, I got, I love you, infinity. There's an archway, a music note, a crown. Every journey starts with one step. I have a house with a heart that says home sweet home. I have a triangle for A, A, N, A, or some kind of intuition. I have a butterfly, and I have a crescent moon with a star. All right, now trinkets for the Gemini I did the reading for. Wow. I have a cross, an anchor with a captain's wheel, a nail. <laughs> You're going to nail it, okay? I have an infinity sign that says love. I have always believed you are smarter than you believe, I'm sorry, braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and love more than you know. What is for you will not pass you by. There's a heart with a nursing cap, so maybe somebody in your life is a nurse. Dream, hope, trust, love, dream, hope, trust, love. I have a handcuff. <laughs> I have a sister is someone she dream, cry, sing, and laugh with. A gasket, a yin and yang. I have a deer, like a Bambi, but it's a buck. I have a skeleton key. I have another gasket. I have a little kid. Remember children were an issue here? I have a ballerina. I have a turtle. A whale tail. A star, um, snowflake. I have a dragonfly. I have this peace sign in Arabic. The Eiffel Tower. You might live in a tower. That guitar. I forgot to put it over here in the ball. I have a heart with an arrow that says love. A peace sign. Another peace sign. A palm tree. A squid or an octopus. Two swans connected, an anchor, a cross, a skeleton key, another, you have a lot of keys showing up, baby. I have a flamingo, a fish. We are all mad here. Wait, no. After all this time. And it has a deer on it, like a Bambi. A, a, a tree of life, a windmill, another fish, a shell, a leaf, another leaf. And the way I feel about you makes my heart long to be free. Hadn't seen that one in a while. Trinkets from this bowl spirit for this seminar that I did the reading for. Alright, and I, I have... All three of the huge keys in the hole. It's me. Good. I have this military pendant. Someone in your life might be in the military. I have an angel, a hand, a skeleton hand, a kundalini trinket, an anchor, a light bulb. Drive safe. I need you here with me. A prick or a cactus, two balls, another dragonfly, a heart with a flower, a rocking horse for a baby, a crescent moon with a fairy, two arrows, 
an elephant with a heart on its trunk, a horse, a sailboat, the love between a grandmother and grandfather and granddaughter. Why did I say grandfather? That meant something. Granddaughter is forever. A maple or marijuana leaf, a prick outside the bowl. I have an infinity sign and I have my dragon. All right, that's your reading. It looks like everything's going to be fine from what I can see. But you just have to get over these children and figure out what you're going to do about this soulmate that wants to start over or whatever it said with you. I don't know how you feel about them, but you're saying that you're not financially stable and you don't want to know. I'm curious though. How does this person feel about this soulmate? You don't feel like you can trust them. You don't feel like you can trust them. I have the Ace of Wands in reverse and cannot be trusted. The Ace of Wands is like somebody who you're not attracted to and you don't feel like you can trust them. You're ready to go to the next stage and explore the unknown. But you don't want to leave somebody out in the cold. The devil's in reverse again here. Devil in reverse there. Clarify the devil in reverse with this leaving somebody out in the cold. It has to do with an ace of pentacles, the three of swords in reverse, the queen of swords. Hiding your feelings, mirroring, and the seven of cups. So it's like... Somewhere you're going to move or something new, an offer, a brand new offer, a new car, a new home. You don't want to hurt somebody. But there's a queen of swords that you're hiding your feelings for. Or that you can't hide your feelings for. And you're mirroring this person also. And there's a lot of options and a lot of choices to make. Clarify the Seven of Cups. The Ten of Cups in reverse. A date in reverse. The Five of Swords upright. The Sun in reverse. And the Eight of Cups. So it's like there's no unconditional love. You never really, I don't think, spend any time with this person. There's a lot of mind games, and somebody's been staying in a very unhappy relationship. So I would say you probably are not happy with this person. You're on different pages somehow. And I think you've been keeping it secret, but I don't think you're going to be able to for very much longer. Just saying. Advice, spirit, be patient. Clarify, be patient. There's going to be a tower. Clarify the tower. There's going to be some truth. Clarify the truth. Rejection in reverse. The page of pentacles in reverse. And the queen of cups. So, something you're thinking about doing... This is the person. They're, they're showing up as a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And it's like, I, they might be thinking about rejecting you. For real, for real. They might be thinking about rejecting you. Clarify what they're thinking about. Right now they're undecided. The Page of Cups is here and the Eight of Wands. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's Seven of Swords there, and then the Regret card came out of the wrong deck. Oh, Lord. Clarify their, regre their regret. They regret abandoning somebody. All right, show me how my friend that I'm reading for is feeling right now. You're at a crossroads and you've been through a dark night. All right, how about this new love? Show me what's going on with them. You're being guided. Clarify guided. You're numbing. Somebody's numbing. Ugh. There's a third party and you're numbing. It came out over here, though, on this person that regrets. Clarify get guided. 
the soulmate. Check out my soulmate. You're being guided. You're being shown that you're stuck with a soulmate. And you need to be by yourself. But you have free will to go in a new direction. Clarify the new direction. You need to understand that you're a divine masculine. And this says that you're actually thinking about that already. Alright, clarify what happens once they realize that they're divine masculine. Divine feminine tried her damnness. Why are they purging? Because you're going to recognize that you've been mirroring this person and not listening. Not listening and not talking about it. Alright, what well, might be the outcome, spirit? Somebody's going to take action. And when it comes to this inner child and this shadow work, you're going to finally get over it. What happens once they finally get over it, spirit? There's going to be some destruction, a tower, and you're going to return. Or there's been some destruction, but you're going to return. You're going to have grief. You're going to have a commitment in your family. So something's going to happen to make you return, even though you're going to be sad. But you're going to have a commitment to your family. Clarify commitment to, a, to the family. Oh, baby. There's a divine feminine here that's going to surrender, or you are. You're going to pause because you're wearing a mask. Or maybe there's been a pause because you were wearing a mask. You were afraid to talk about the fact that you were seeing the signs and that you saw some deception. And I think the deception was coming from over here. Clarify what, what's going on over here. Whoa. This person over here, they're going to release. The fifth dimension is going to make them release you in divine timing. You've learned the lessons, you're awakening, and you need to compromise. All right, now, that's a wrap. I hope you're blessed and highly favored, and I know you are. Bye-bye.